Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you two methods on how to run Internet Explorer in Windows 11. Let's get started. So before we begin, I'd like to mention that this is not a video on how to enable Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge. We'll be running the standalone app of Internet Explorer. So, for the first method, you'll need to download the Take Ownership Registry file. Once you've downloaded it, double-click on it to open it, and then on the User Account Control pop-up, if you get a pop-up, click Yes. Then on this pop-up here, click Yes, then click OK. Next, we need to head over to the System32 folder. So, we're going to click this PC, then we're going to select our C drive, we're going to go to Windows, and then we're going to look for System32. And then we're going to right-click on System32, and then we're going to click Take Ownership. If you don't get this option right here, you can click Show More Options, and then click Take Ownership. If you get a user account control pop-up, just click Yes. You're going to see this crazy madness happening, just let that do its thing until it goes away. Once it's finished, we're going to do the same thing for the SysWow64 folder. So right click on it, click Take Ownership, or if you don't get that, just click Show More Options, and then click Take Ownership. Click Yes on the user account control pop-up if that pops up for you, and then, as before, just let it do its thing. And there we go. So now we're going to go back, and we're going to download the ieframe.dll files. And then we're going to go to the System32 one first. We're going to right click on it, click Show More Options, and then click Copy. We can minimize the window now. We're going to open the System32 folder, and we're going to locate the ieframe.dll file. So this is the original ieframe.dll file. So just to keep it in case anything goes wrong, we're going to rename it to ieframeold.dll. I'd recommend renaming it to ieframeold.dll so you can distinguish which one is the original file and the new file. So we're going to do that by right clicking on it and we can click show more options and then click rename. And we're going to rename it to ieframeold.dll. We'll get user account control pop up and if you do get one just click yes. And there we go. Now we're going to paste the new ieframe dll file. And then we're going to click continue if we get this pop up right there. And there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing for the syswow64 folder. So we're going to open the folder that contains the new ieframe.dll files. And now we're going to go to the syswow64 folder. So we're going to right click on the file, we can click show more options, and then click copy. Now we're going to minimize the window here. You can do that if you want. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in the system32 folder where we renamed the ieframe.dll file. So we're going to locate it. And we're going to simply right click on it, click show more options, and we're going to click rename. And then just rename it to ieframeold.dll. Then we're going to click yes on the user account control pop up. And now we're going to paste the new ieframe dll file. So we're going to right click on any open space, we can click show more options, and then click paste. Click continue if you get this pop up right here. And there we go. We've now added the new ieframe.dll files. And the last thing we need to do is go to the search and let's type iexplore.exe. It doesn't matter, you don't need to put the exe at the end. But just so you'll get this run command thing here and have the Internet Explorer icon, we're going to click that there. And you can see that Internet Explorer opens up on the first try. So an issue that you'll encounter is if you type in a URL like Google, for example, so if I type google.com, you'll notice that it redirects me to Microsoft Edge. So to fix that, we're going to click the three dots right here in the top right hand corner, and we're going to click settings. Then we're going to click default browser. And then for Internet Explorer compatibility, we're going to select this option here to never. And then we're going to click yes, I'm sure. Now we can close out of in Microsoft Edge. And now let's try opening up Google again. This time it loads up without any issues. And if you'd like, you can pin Internet Explorer to your taskbar. And all of Internet Explorer's functionality is like in private mode and, you know, reopen last session. They all work. So as you can see, it opens without any issues. So that's how to do the first method. For the second method, which is temporary, we're going to go to Microsoft Edge. We can type in any URL like Bing, for example, bing.com. And we're going to go click the three dots right here. And we're going to click Reload in Internet Explorer mode. If you don't get this option here, you can just go to Settings, Default Browser, 
And then for Internet Explorer mode pages, we can click add and add bing.com there, https colon slash slash bing.com, and make sure that this is set to allow. So I'll demonstrate how to do that. So https colon slash slash bing.com. Cool. So I'm going to click the three dots here and click reload in Internet Explorer mode. You'll see now it's in Internet Explorer mode. We're going to right click on any open space. And as you can see, this is the original context menu. We're going to click all accelerators and manage accelerators. You'll see this old school looking pop up pop up right there. And we're going to click find more accelerators. And you'll notice now that it opens Internet Explorer. And there we go. Those are the two methods on how to run Internet Explorer in Windows 11. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and comment down below what you thought in this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.